Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to recover a WordPress site that has gotten corrupted. This is not going to fix all corrupted WordPress sites, but the vast majority of WordPress sites have been corrupted because they have a plugin that has corrupted the site. Generally, what happens is you will have automatic updates turned on for your plugins and for your themes and for your core. And that's a good thing, but occasionally the plugin will require, for example, a later version of the PHP scripting language, which is a server side scripting language. And if you haven't upgraded to that later version, then not only will the plugin crash, but it could crash your entire website. And this is what I think has happened on two different sites that I'm working on. One of them is soundsofswing.com and the other one is sogomusicms.com. And we see we have one of them here and the other one is here. And you see we've got two different error messages. I'm going to go ahead and tackle the Sogo Music MS site first because this is an error I commonly see when a plugin has caused the WordPress site to crash. Now, the way we do that is we log in to the control panel. Now, this is assuming, of course, that you have WordPress hosted on a hosting service that uses cPanel. Now, on your cPanel, you go to Files Management. It's email. We don't want email. There's files. And we want to open that up. And we want to open File Manager. That opens in a new tab. But we want to come over to our public HTML, we want to come to WP-Content, and we want to come to Plugins. And we'll see that we have pretty much only four plugins here. Let's click on the Plugins header, and that brings up all of the others in this screen on the right. Now we see we have a Kismet, that's usually pretty stable. We have a child theme creator. That's always been pretty stable. I suspect this, this really simple SSL when Google was requiring all sites to be SSL, the HTTPS colon slash slash protocol instead of just HTTP colon slash slash protocol. We had to go to really simple SSL to make it come to HTTPS up here in the URL and eventually all of the hosts have come around to offering SSL at no additional charge. Uh, I also have Uber login logo, and that one is usually pretty stable. So I'm going to say it's really simple SSL, and I don't want that one in there. So all I have to do is rename it. I click on it, and then I just type in something like OLD, and that changes the name of that plugin, which deactivates the plugin. Now let's go back to that website and we have it up at the top. Let's hit the reload button and see if it reloads the site. And look at here, it did reload the site. At least it's active at this point. And even though it looks like there's nothing on it, at least we can come to the site at this point and we can hit the slash and go to WP login and we will be able to log in at that point. So I can log in and say, yes, this is the correct email. And we can come to the plugins and the pages. And we see that it was indeed the really simple SSL plugin that was at fault. So I'm just going to delete that plugin at this point. And that makes the site no longer crashed. The fact that it doesn't really have any content on it at this point is not the issue. The same thing happens over here on the SogoMusicMS.com website. Let's go over to the cPanel for that one. I have already logged in. Let's go to File Manager. Let's go over here to Public HTML. Open that up. Let's come to WP Content. Open that up. And let's click on Plugins. And we see we have here, Contact Form 7 is a plugin that frequently goes out of date and will crash your site. We don't need elegant theme support. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Jetpack is usually stable. We don't need this last modified timestamp. This is usually stable. That's usually stable. 
WordPress SEO. Now that one may be the problem. And the reason I know that is because we got an email here from WordPress telling us that the site was down. So let's go ahead and close that email. Let's come to these plugins and let's disable both the contact form seven. I'm going to just add an X on the end of that and the WordPress SEO. Let's add an X on the end of that. And let's go back to the site and see if it will let us log in. We're getting the twiddle and we get the login. We didn't get that before. I'm going to go ahead and check Remember Me and log in. This is the correct email. And we are here on the dashboard and we are able to log in. I can come up here to the top line menu and I'll just do a right click on this and open the link in a new tab and we'll see if that site does come up. And it does come up. And so we know we have worked it out well by disabling the suspect plugins. And that's all you really have to do if you have a WordPress website that has crashed and you suspect there's a plugin causing the problem, then you can go ahead and disable the suspect plugins or you can disable all of them and then you can reinstall them once you get back in the dashboard. And if it turns out that you need to upgrade your PHP version, I have a video out on how to do that and there should be a card in the upper right hand corner that tells you how to get to that video and watch that one to upgrade your PHP version. That's all I've got. Leave me a thumbs up if you think this video is worth sharing with other people. Leave me a comment down in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon and YouTube will let you know whenever we post another great video right here on David's Tutorials. Take care.